CEO Ripple confirms XRP will explode in 2022 to $70,000. But XP's failures are also related to the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple. But, as it became known, Ripple can count on the support of the U.S. presidential administration. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video, to the end, to like and subscribe. According to CoinMeritCap, the Ripple-related cryptocurrency XRP has surpassed Cardano and Solana, becoming the sixth largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. The cryptocurrency has grown by 20% in the last 24 hours, significantly outpacing other major cryptocurrencies. XRP is up 5% this year despite the recent market sell-off and uncertainty over Ripple's litigation with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Charles Gasparino of Fox Business recently tweeted that the case is likely to stretch into the summer. He added that the publication of the Biden administration's order on cryptocurrencies could tip the scales in favor of the SEC, possibly classifying the disputed token as an unregistered security. As reported by U.Today, the examination stage was recently extended until February 28 at the request of both parties. The delay allowed for additional readings. Ripple's general counsel, Stuart Alderodi, recently urged the SEC to review Ripple's case as quickly as possible. U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres has not yet ruled on the dual petitions of Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse and co-founder Chris Larson to dismiss the lawsuit. The court has also yet to announce its decision on the Securities and Exchange Commission's motion to revoke the key principle of protecting defendants on fair notice. The regulator recently filed two letters of additional authority to support its efforts. In December 2020, XRP fell by 70% due to a lawsuit against Ripple, and exchanges are rushing to suspend trading in the U.S. the last bullish cycle. According to Santiment, the price of XRP reflects the latest growth in its network, having soared by 50% since February 3, when it began to rise upwards. XRP will mark the sixth green day, as it will rise to a maximum of 91 cents on February 8. XRP is currently trading at 84 cents, as seen on the Binance Exchange. The online analytics company Santiment notes that daily active XRP addresses have been steadily growing in recent months. Santiment notes that at current prices, active XRP addresses are at the level of the beginning of November, almost three months ago. Viewing DAS, daily active addresses, is a good method to track network activity over time, as higher DAS indicate more blockchain usage. As a result, DAS are sometimes used as a leading indicator of price movement, the demand for access to the network can increase the demand for its own blockchain token. According to court documents, Judge Annalisa Torres granted Ripple permission to respond to the SEC's Memorandum of Laws in support of motion to strike fair notice protection. Judge Torres also ordered the disclosure of three documents related to the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple, including a chain of emails and a notice of testimony from Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, as well as the email string of founder Chris Larson. John Deaton, an attorney for XRP holders, suggests that, according to the report, it is virtually impossible to prove any real correlation between the price of XRP and Ripple's public statements. According to the founder of the cryptocurrency law, the SEC must also prove that Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson sold XRP in the United States. The price of XRP has risen by almost 30% in less than a week amid positive sentiment around a court case in which the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, alleges that Ripple sold XRP as illegal securities. According to court documents, 
Judge Annalisa Torres granted Ripple permission to respond to the SEC's Memorandum of Laws in support of motion to strike fair notice protection. In addition, Judge Torres also ordered the disclosure of three documents related to the SEC's case against Ripple, including the email thread of Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse and the deposition notice, as well as the email string of founder Chris Larson. The markets reacted positively to Judge Torres' orders. Shortly after they got to the wire, the price of XRP rose by almost 30%, rising from its lowest level on February 3 at $0.058 to $0.782 on February 7. The upward movement also gained momentum after Jeremy Hogan, a partner at the law firm Hogan & Hogan, noted that the SEC against Ripple may be nearing a verdict. This is good, because we are moving to the second phase of the case, where something should happen. Jeremy Hogan The latest surge in purchases in the XRP market also occurred when the token retested. XRP is now facing a confluence of resistances in the form of its 20-week, green, and 50-week, red, exponential moving averages, EMA. Meanwhile, the two moving averages seem ready to form a death cross, if the 20-week EMA crosses the 50-week EMA, a classic sell signal. However, a decisive close with a large volume above the indicated EMA may limit the sell-off risks associated with the death cross. Moreover, a prolonged upward momentum may cause the XRP price to retest the resistance of the downward trend line around $1.26, which is 50% more than the current levels. Alexander Mamasidikov, co-founder of the Mineplex cryptocurrency wallet service, ignored warnings about negative consequences, arguing that ending the long-standing litigation between the SEC and Ripple would be optimistic for XRP. In anticipation that the litigation initiated by the SEC, which claims that XRP's status as a security will be settled this year, the current purchases can be viewed as an opportunity to accumulate at a discount for possible price increases in the long term. He said, adding, If the current trend continues, the ambitious support of the XRP community could help push the cryptocurrency to a new monthly high of 88 cents per coin. The opinions and opinions expressed here are solely those of the author. The live XRP price today is $0 US dollars and 83 cents with a 24-hour trading volume of 6 billion 26 million US dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 0.01% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP can win the SEC? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.